Oh, welcome back everybody. Had a bit of a break there. I had to do some work related things for a couple months, but uh, I should be able to get back to making the engine, the uh, V4 engine here. The next piece I'm going to do since uh, we got our manifold here, I need to make another one of those yet, but that's fine. I want to get more of the engine done before putting more time into making those. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the piston. The piston is going to be the same style that I used in my uh, inline four and uh, radial engines. It's a little different than the one I used in the uh, Mini V8. I had to take a slightly different approach to that one because the size was so small. So basically I'm going to make a jig. This is the jig that I used for these two engines. I just have to make a smaller one. That's going to be for a smaller piston. Got my plan here. Essentially I'll cut this out, attach it to a block of wood. You know, I'm going to cut the end like this so that I can screw it down and clamp clamp onto the rod. It's held in place. I just cut it off here for the length. We'll do our two holes here. The piston. Okay, I've attached the pattern here. Uh, normally I would put painter's tape down, but it occurs to me I'm never going to need to take this pattern off again, so no need for that. You want to try and make sure everything is lined up as square as possible on the folds. And if of course you want to cut this off as square as possible. Just checking how square things are. They're not too bad on the sides. There's a little gap here, but I think we'll be alright. Because for some reason, there isn't on this side, so... It just might be that the block isn't perfect. Where we do have a bit of a problem is this way. Well, I guess you know, it's, the camera's a little high for that, but... It's not exactly square there, but I will be clamping it in a vise, and that'll take care of that just so we make sure we get that hole as straight as possible through here. Alright, so with my drill press in 3 8 bit, it doesn't quite have enough travel to go all the way through, but that's fine because I don't really need the whole length, so I'll drill as deep as I can and then just cut it off to open it up. That'll be fine for my purposes. Looks like it came off just a hair off. Very close though. Good enough for what I'm doing. I'm just going to just cut off the end to expose the uh, hole. Just cut it off here. Now we're going to cut it this way so I have a portion to clamp. I guess I, I don't really need to cut off this piece. But because it's, I'm making this out of oak, that's a long cut to make with oak, so I'll trim it down a little bit, I guess. Now I have it cut down, now I'm going to just cut out the end. This oak is proving harder to cut than usual. So I just got a couple of these wood screws. I'm going to drill a hole for each one. Just put them in. You, know, you want to drill it, of course, so it's smaller than the threads. Then drill out the top half so it's loose on top and tight on the bottom. So we have our jig. We have the two screws that are going to put, basically put this in, leveled off at the end and attempt to clamp it nice and tight. Clamps in real nice and tight. I will drill out the holes. You can lubricate that if you want as you drill. So first we'll drill this far 3 16 and uh, I believe that is 3 30 seconds that we'll finish it through. And then this first hole will be the tap for the second hole. Alright, so we'll set our depth here. Right about there should be good. We'll attempt our drilling. Alright, we're gonna stop. Usually I'd put leather gloves on to drill metal. Some of those shavings get kinda wily. Finish it up now. Right. 
that's our first step. Now we'll get the other drill bit. So next one is three thirty seconds. Like so. can't really see it on here well, maybe you can but uh, you know the first hole is the pilot for the second hole so it's it's centered automatically and now we're going to just cut this off and remove the uh, portion of the piston oh wait I have to drill the hole here yet I still have to drill the end hole yeah. so I dug around a bit found this uh, pack of music wire that I had already it is 0 0.039 inches um, so that's what I'm going to use to pin my connecting rod in is the size music wire. Now I don't directly have a drill bit the right size but I have this little thing I got at Hobby Lobby a while back that um, has a bunch of little drill bits in it and I have one that's 0 0.035 inches that's point that'll work because this is point zero three nine inches so that'll work well um, I can just widen the hole if, as, as needed to drill the hole initially I'm going to put the uh, drill bit in with just a little bit sticking out so it doesn't wander and then when I get the hole started better then I will um, extend it out in the full length to drill it Decided to clamp things just to make sure everything's nice and square and straight. Secure in place. I'm gonna put just a little dab of oil on this. Oops, that was more than a dab. That's fine. Uh, the drill bit does tend to stick in the uh, aluminum, so we don't want to twist it off. I don't have a lot of these. So that'll be our hole for the pin. Now we just have to cut it off, take it out. Obviously we still have to drill the ends, but uh, one thing at a time. Just loosen it up and see if we can push it through. It is. You want to wait a little bit sometimes before touching it. See our hole here for the pin. Might not be perfectly straight, but there will be a little give in the shaft, so we will be all right there. There's our two size holes right there. Now we just want to drill out the ends. To you only really need to drill out this end to allow access for the connecting rod. But we drill out both ends just to lighten the uh, piston. Now we're going to make a jig to clamp and hold the um, piston while we drill out the ends. Of course we wouldn't have to drill out both sides just the side where we're going to pin through the connecting rod. We wouldn't have to drill them to those depths. In fact I've already adjusted them a little less than I had them just so I had uh, better tolerances for the when I drill the holes. So we have a, this is made now that's going to clamp it, attach this but we're going to drill it out two different sizes, that'll sit on top of this to guide the drill bit to drill out the piston. Alright, I have the piston clamped in here, uh, the connecting rod side is down right now so we're going to just, I set the depth to the drill bit to this top line here. I could go a hair lower just because my block wasn't uh, three quarters of an inch, it's just a hair bigger. But you see the depth is set to right there. That's what we're going to, we put the, uh, basically the guide on top that we cut out. I'm going to put just a drop of oil in there.
You always want to keep going up and down to kind of clear the debris out. Be careful, oftentimes this will be hot. So we basically just drilled out the end. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. So for the side we'll just set the depth a little lower because we have a little more space on that side. Then come out perfectly centered. She drifted to the side a little bit one of the times I drilled it out. I might have to make a new top. But uh, it'll probably be fine. I can always drill it out again if I have to. Alright, we have our finished piston here. Holes drilled out. Um, we have to clean it up a bit for that. We use a utility knife. We'll just go around and take the small lip that forms on the edges when you cut stuff out. Let's cut that off. Cut it off from both of the holes. Uh, otherwise, of course, it's not going to fit in the tube. That's going to be the uh, cylinder. And on the ends, there's also a lip for from cutting it off. So I'll use what a rotary tool sanding disc in my drill press and just going to round the edge a little bit all the way around. I'll do that on both sides, although it's not needed on the uh, side where the connecting rod is going to go. Uh, we could also use like a diamond disc. But, uh, of course after using the sanding disc you want to smooth the edges with some fine grain sandpaper. This is 800. So I'm going to smooth things out. You're going to want to polish up the piston a little bit. So we'll start with this 800 grit. Especially over the holes. I had some 1200 grit somewhere for uh, like plastic work. I don't know where that is anymore. But for the most part then I'll just finish it off with some fine steel wool. Well, thank everybody for watching. I'll probably make the uh, connecting rod next just to make sure it fits the hole that I made and uh, works the way I think it's going to work. Otherwise, I might end up having to make the hole bigger. Once again, thanks for watching.